for the best target for the last time. The Taraba State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party has been embroiled in leadership crisis regarding the authentic state chairman of the party. The PDP National Working Committee had appointed the former Governor Darius Ishaku's political advisor, Abubakar Bawa, to complete the last year in the tenure of the former chairman, Governor Kefas Abu, who left the position to contest the state governorship poll. The decision of the NWC was challenged by the party's vice chairman at that time, Inua Bakari, at the Federal High Court, but the suit was struck out. Not satisfied with the verdict, Bakari proceeded to the State High Court, which ruled that he should be the acting chairman of the party in the state. The state chairman, Abubakar Bawa, who was not satisfied with the decision, challenged the verdict of the State High Court at the Court of Appeal, which ordered stay of execution in his favor. Worried by the deepening internal crisis within the party in the state, the governor, Kefa Sabu, called for a meeting with the executive officers. The aim of the meeting by the governor was to end the prolonged leadership crisis rocking the PDP in the state ahead of the coming National Assembly rerun election. Speaking at the meeting, Governor Kefas called on all stakeholders to close ranks and work as a team as they prepare for the rerun election. Apart from attempts to identify and resolve issues facing the party, the meeting was also used to map out strategies to win the rerun election. <laughs> Speakers, members of Taraba State Executive Council, State Working Committee of our great party, Secretary to the Government of Taraba State, former Secretary to the Government of Taraba State, Mr. Anthony Jelassi, Zona Party Vice Chairman, Local Government Party Chairman. Women leaders, youth leaders, other stakeholders of our great party, our elders, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor I am here today as a leader of our party in my capacity as the governor of Taraba State. And I extend my warmest greetings to each and every one of you as we gather here for our first meeting which I want to acknowledge the significance of this moment. 
It is a time when we come together to address critical matters that shape the future of our great party and the destiny of our state. Firstly, let me express my gratitude for your dedication and unwavering commitment to the People's Democratic Party, which was evidenced in our last election as we continue to win in this state. In the face of challenges, you have remained steadfast, displaying resilience and unity that are the hallmarks of a strong political family. Our party has always been a bastion of democracy. And I'm confident that by fostering dialogue and understanding, we can overcome any leadership challenges or crises that may arise. Together, we shall forge a united front that will not only strengthen our party, but also serve as a beacon of hope for the people of Tarawa. As we convene here today, we find ourselves on the course of the forthcoming local government chairmanship election, a crucial junction that requires our collective effort to ensure a smooth and successful process. I urge each of you to work closely with one another. Traditional rulers, the people of the state in your areas in the selection of credible candidates among aspirants. Embracing transparency, fairness, and inclusivity. Let us showcase the democratic ideals that define our party, setting an example that others can emulate. Moreover, the pending vacancy in the House of Representatives seat for Jalingo Eurozone constituencies underscores the importance of our unity and strategic decision making. Let us approach this matter with wisdom and foresight, putting the interests of our constituents and the betterment of Taraba State at the forefront of our considerations. However, our responsibilities extend beyond elections and positions. They encompass the well-being of the people, the development of our communities, and the progress of our state. It is imperative that we continue to work hand in hand with the government to ensure that the promises we made during our campaign translate into tangible results for our citizens. Good governance is not a mere slogan. It is a solemn commitment that we owe the people who entrusted us with their hopes and aspirations. In closing my remarks, let us reaffirm our dedication to the principles that bind us as members of the People's Democratic Party. Let us foster an atmosphere of open dialogue, mutual respect, and collaboration, which are the cornerstones of our success. Together, we shall wither any storm, overcome any challenge, and pave the way for the brighter future of our state and our people. Thank you all for coming, and may our collective effort, discussions today, yield good results and progress for all of us. Long live the People's Democratic Party, long live Taraba State, long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. The Secretary of the PDP in the state, Kuria Uta, said the meeting was first of its kind since the emergence of Governor Kefas and expressed hope that it will address the challenges facing the party. Excellency, the Governor of Taraba State, Dr. Abu Kefas, Your Excellency, Alaji Aminu, the Deputy Governor, 
Your Excellency Alaji Harunamanu, Your Excellency, the Speaker, Taraba State House of Assembly, our senators here present, members House of Representatives, members State House of Assembly, I welcome you to this great meeting. Today is a great day. It's a day we have never seen. A day all the political stakeholders come together to talk, to make decisions on the way forward in respect of the party, to decide how we take this party to its highest height. You are all welcome. May God Almighty be praised for making this day possible for all of us gathered here to witness the State Executive Committee meeting of our great party. Since the inception of this moving forward government on 29 2023, under the watchful of His Excellency, Dr. Kefas, the Executive Governor of Taraba State. I wish to use this chance to once again congratulate His Excellency, Dr. Abu Kefas, Governor of Taraba State, for the landslide victory over his rivals during the 2023 general election in Taraba State. Similarly, I congratulate once again all the PDP National Assembly and Taraba State House of Assembly members who won convincingly during the 2023 national and state general election in Taraba State, respectively. In the same day, I am pleased to thank all the PDP Tech Working Committee members, local government area council party chairman, PDP State Elders Forum, and other distinguished members of, of this organ of our great party, to mention but a few. For your support, which resulted to all the victories we celebrate together today, moving forward with our shoulders high. Recall that since the election of the current PDP State Working Committee, committee, committee formerly headed by His Excellency, Dr. Abu Kefas, who is now our governor as of today, there was no opportunity given to the state chairman of the party in Taraba State to call for this very important meeting, which ought to have been at least once in each quarter every year. The state ESCO was never allowed to hold this meeting since the current working committee were inaugurated on 12 August 2020 by the previous government. The purpose of this meeting is therefore to identify, resolve some political, social, economic issues consigned to our great party. Equally, the forthcoming local government area council general election slated to hold on October this year by Taraba State Independent Electoral Commission, amongst others, in this regard. We employ all members of this esteemed executive committee to discuss in this meeting as a family and sincerely respond to issues of concern identified for this meeting without prejudice. This is important in order to move PDP forward in line with democratic tenets and the moving forward agenda of His Excellency, Dr. Kefas Abu, the Executive Governor of Tarabat. Finally, 
It is my singular honor and pleasure to remind you that all issues of concern to our great party in Taraba State are summatable, are reservable, provided the PDP constitution provision is the yardstick we shall use to address those issues. No matter how critical the issue and challenges are as formation, evidently, therefore, we, the State Working Committee, and His Excellency, the Governor, who apparently is the arrowhead of the party, looks forward to a greater party role positively, devoted to restore the integrity and the party base on our collective desire. Desire to salvage the drifting image being perpetrated unnecessarily by some people. On behalf of the State Working Committee, I sincerely thank you for finding time to attend this meeting, but particularly a glowing tribute to the most youngest, dynamic, reliable, dependable, trustworthy governor, His Excellency Dr. Abu Kefa, for his excellent support according to the party for the actualization of this meeting. We thank you most sincerely. Thank you all. The party's organizing secretary who spoke to TVC News at the end of the closed door meeting commended Governor Kefes for taking proactive measures to end the leadership crisis. The meeting was a success, absolutely. It was the state executive committee meeting of the PDP. It was convened at the extent instance of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Tarawa State, to address issues that will enhance the position of PDP in Tarawa State. Uh, three key issues were brought to the table. One, the four Camilo government election, the Jalingo Zing Euro Reround for House of Representatives, and the little crisis within the fall of leadership of the party in the state, particularly the leadership squabble of who is the state chairman. And um, as a party, we commend His Excellency for his decisive intervention, and there are positive uh, indications that uh, very soon the party will get over the issues. Thank you. Other stakeholders also shared the views on the matter with TVC News. Um, you see, the, the initiative by His Excellency is actually a very good one. I must commend His Excellency for this powerful initiative. First and foremost, it is a commitment to reunite the party. And of course, His Excellency, as the leader of the party in the state, he deemed fit that the party cannot stay disunited and is a powerful initiative i must commend his excellency you see um the the governor of the state actually need the party to be together to be able to uh to be able to give tarabans purposeful leadership and of course you know unity of the party is very very fundamental to governance the, what that simply means is a collaborative decision making from the side of the party and looking at the caliber of people his excellency brought on board these are party men these are people that have worked in the past these are people that have they've understood the party they've understood the politics of the party and i believe to a very large extent that these people will work together to see that the party is united because this is the time out for governance Already, we just came out of election and uh, His Excellency was sworn in, I think, barely three months ago. Tarabans are expecting much from him and we cannot afford to have a divided house. So I will commend His Excellency for this wonderful initiative. That is to show a purposeful leadership. That is to show that we cannot afford this time out of governance. We cannot afford to, to present our house so disunited. So it's a powerful initiative. I must commend His Excellency. For that wonderful initiative going into election and of course you know we are going to election there is need for the house to remain together we cannot afford to go into election when the house is disunited 
So it's a powerful one because we have we have uh, the local government election that is fast approaching. Of course, it's a powerful one. We need the house to stay together to be able to go into the election so that we come out victorious. And including the, the National Assembly election that is coming, the National Assembly election for Jalingo, Yoro, and uh, uh, Zin, federal constituency. We need the House to stay together. We need the House more united to be able to go into any form of election. So it's a wonderful one. I must commend His Excellency for this. For appointing the former Deputy Governor, uh, Senator Aruna Manu, to broker peace within the party rank is a powerful initiative. And of course, you know the former governor is a party man. He has been in the party for a long period of time. He was one time member representing uh, Bali Gasol Federal Constituency and a deputy governor and currently is a senator. So of course you should know that he's a party man. So appointing him to broker peace within the party rank is actually a very powerful initiative. I must commend His Excellency for that. Now, there are so much expectations from all angles, largely from the youth demography. The expectation is that the young people really want the party to stay together. They want the party to be more united. Because if you check the ranks of the party currently, you discover that a large percentage of members of the party are young people. So it means that we, the party has a promising future in Taraba. So the expectation of the young people is for the party to be united the more and appointing the former deputy governor, now a senator, to broker peace within the party rank is actually a very good one and of course he's actually a young man so young people are really happy with this initiative coming from his excellency uh, actually i want to commend his excellency the executive governor of Tarawa state you know taking a very bold step in you know uh, organizing the party in such a way that the party will become one family uh, the reason why i say so is because you see we have a uh, election that has the boss. We have uh, a local government election which is under the control of the state government and then we have uh, a house of representative by election you know in Jalingo Yerozing which is ahead of uh, ahead of us. So you know in the preparation for these uh, uh, big elections ahead of us you see uh, uh, the His Excellency the Executive Governor of Traverse because he's the party man is the former party chairman, he you know the mechanism how to solve the problem of the party. So we have constituted, you know, uh, a committee, you know, that will, you know, uh, make a reconciliation and organize the party, you know, to be under one family because of the, you know, in, pre in preparation of our election, of the, you know, incoming election. So, and then I want to recommend him, you know, you know, I want to commend him for that, for that, you know, action. And also I'm very confident, you know, with the kind of, you know, People that he, you know, appointed, you know, to, you know, uh, so far to, to head that uh, committee. Uh, because those people that he, you know, appointed to be, you know, uh, members of that committee, more especially the chairman of the committee, uh, His Excellency, uh, uh, the former Deputy Governor of the State, uh, His Excellency, Senator Harun Amanu, you know, I'm very, very confident that he will, you know, uh, uh, make this, uh, you know, committee you know, they, they're going to come out with a very good result, you know, when they re submitted their re report to His Excellency. Uh, because, you see, he's a party member, you know, he's one of the, you know, conk party member, let me just put it this way, because he's a former member of our representative under the umbrella of PDP. He's also a former senator, I mean, former deputy governor of the state, you know, for almost uh, eight years, which is, you know, person of its kind in the state. You see, and also a present senator representing the good people of Central Taraba Central, which is, you know, uh, if you look at his, uh, you know, his, his antecedent, he's telling you that he's a core party member, and then he can be able because of the, you know, confidence that His Excellency, the Governor of Taraba State, uh, you know, Dr. Abu Kefas, you know, reposing him. That was why he, you know, you know, appointed him to, you know, to be the, uh, the chairman of this uh, committee. And then now, if you look at the the, the way he's positioning them. You know he's doing his job perfectly, and then like just just wait, uh, you know, and see the report that we, you know, submitted to His Excellency for you know uh, uh, adaptation. And let's wait and see, and then I'm very confident that the, the report, you know, is going to be very very well. Actually, the Governor Lieutenant Colonel Kefa Sabu has done the best thing that the decision has taken is the right decision in the right time at the right direction because 
if it were not this decision, the party would have been scattered. But for this decision that you have, talking, you have taken, it go a long way to bring the party into cohesion, into, into to, to fight a common front and be able to win any battle that is going to face it. I would like to also reiterate that the people of Taraba State should be God should be grateful to God first and foremost because this is a God sent at the right time because only a miracle working uh, governor like Kefa Sagbu will be able to deliver the confusion that was on ground and we thank God I who have worked with him for some time now for these two years that I've been with him after retirement I have every cause to say um, uh, he will deliver the, the, the good, uh, the best of the democracy that we await. I appeal to all the party stakeholders. Every person should bury his difference and see what God will do in this man or the governor that we have just elected. And before these 100 days, or before, before after the, the, it will roll out the dividends of democracy as he has spoken. And we believe in him, and he, he is a God sent, and he's a miracle walking governor. The meeting resolves that all aggrieved members involved in the leadership tussle should withdraw litigations in the court to pave way for amicable resolution. A fresh, re a fresh reconciliation committee was constituted, which a fresh reconciliation committee was constituted, which will be which will be headed by the former Deputy Governor of the state, Senator Haruna Manu, to interface with Inu Wabakari and Abubakar Baru. And Abubakar Bawa.